Hi, welcome and hope you're doing well. Here I have the MSI gaming laptop and in this video I'll be doing a fan replacement on this. The reason why I said a fan replacement, I'm going to show it to you and you can listen to what's happening. So as I turn on the, uh, the computer and you can hear that fan noise. Yep, so the fan is spinning, scraping on the blade. Uh, the blade is scraping the metal and this is what exactly is happening right now. So let me go ahead and uh, turn it off. Sorry, still making that noise. It is shutting down right now. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so the what happened is that the the blade on the, on the fan spins, and as it spins, it's scraping on the uh, the blade is scraping the metal, so you can hear this grinding noise. Um, sometimes the motor, the ball bearing is, you know, there's a crack on it, or maybe the motor that spins is not even, so the blade is still at certain angle and it's making that sound. Alright, so let me show you to you what model it, this is. Uh, this is the Ace uh, MSI MS16Q2. Uh, that is the model of this laptop. Let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing I like to do is to remove the uh, the screw. We need to get to the back plate remove that back plate if your fan is fine and let's just say that your laptop is overheating and you need to uh, uh, clean off the uh, uh, the dust or maybe or apply a new thermal paste to have a better cooling on the system so this is the video that you should uh, you know watch and see if you learn something out of it uh, hopefully I can show you on how to do that um, uh, you know to show you what the heatsink is and where you can apply the new thermal pads or thermal paste Come on, it's not coming up. So the screws are all the same size. Uh, if you mix match the screw that's okay you can just uh, put it in at any given order doesn't have to be uh, the, the way you remove it so the screws are the same size which is a good good sign let's see if I can uh, pry it open Okay, so you just have to pry it underneath the thickness of this. This is the back plate. Once you pry it open, the entire back plate will just come right off. Okay, at this given time here, this is the fan. And I can see that the fan is, is the problem because uh, usually if the fan is in a good condition, you can just spin it and you can feel like the, the fan blade spins very smoothly. So. It doesn't stop and you can see that this thing stops and it actually make the make the sound right 
and this blade here doesn't hardly spin you can feel like the blade on this side uh, doesn't really want to spin at all all right so let's go ahead and get going to uh, do the uh, uh, the fan replacement here okay uh, the first thing I like to do is to disconnect the battery so let's pull the battery down this is the connector just slide it down to your body and that's how you disconnect the battery uh, let's go ahead and disconnect all the cables so flip that little clipper open and pull that cable down that's one two this is for your keyboard this is for your Wi-Fi slide the Wi-Fi down towards your body this is probably your speaker just put it down this is your LCD screen this one cable right here slide it out it looks like we need to re remove the entire motherboard just to get to the CPU fan so it is kind of a big job it's not a simple job I'm not sure why the way they design the fan cable is on the other side of the of the motherboard. Okay, so once you have that, let's see. Let's remove the battery. Okay, that's how you get to the uh, the motherboard. So this is the keyboard right here. Uh, for those of you who's who's gonna ask, can you do a keyboard replacement? Uh, the answer is no, because the keyboard, the way they made it, is all built in together with the palm rest. So if you have a bad keyboard and you need to do a replacement, technically you would have to replace the entire keyboard right here with the with the uh, touchpad on it. Okay, so that is the downside of this uh, manufacturer uh, keyboard installed. Um, if to change out the whole thing, you definitely you need to transfer your speaker, and you need to remove these three screws. Uh, these are the hinge screw. Once you remove it, you can separate the uh, the screen and the key, uh, and the palm rest, the bottom part of it. All right, but then that's not what we're going to do today. Today we're going to talk about the uh, the the blade. So you can see that the uh, the fan blade doesn't really want to spin. It's very hard, and this is how it's supposed to look like when you sp spin a fan. Uh, this is how it's supposed to be, not like this. And the thing that's making noise is coming from this fan you can hear that all right so uh, let's go ahead and remove it and first I need to remove the uh, CPU fan connector I'm just gonna slide it to my left uh, that's how you remove that connector and this one slide to your right okay so let's go ahead and get a smaller screwdriver
Okay, that's how you remove that fan. And let's go ahead and work on this right fan. Remove the screw. So this tiny little screw is the one that is holding onto the uh, the fan. And you must remove the tape because the tape is still taping onto the fan. I wonder why this fan doesn't want to come out. Okay, so that's how you remove it. And at the same time, this is where you can check. You look at all this little dust. Over time, it built up. Uh, all the dust and all the linen. Uh, this is where it makes the, uh, the ventilation suffocate. And then the computer gets overheat. Uh, when it gets too hot and overheating, uh, you know, you get the uh, performance decrease at the same time same time you can you know prematurely kill the cpu and the graphics card so um, if you feel like the computer temperature is running really hot you might want to consider coming here and clean off all this little uh, dust and and linens okay so i'll come back and clean these things off and let me continue uh, explaining to you what you might able to do and if you feel like the uh the CPU and the heatsink are getting really hot. Uh, this is the time when you can unscrew all of them, remove the entire heatsink, and apply new thermal paste on it. Now, for those of you who who needs to um, increase the capacity on the uh, storage, this is your M.2 drive. Uh, you can increase uh, larger capacity for this. Uh, this is your DDR4 RAM. Uh, you can go ahead and upgrade the RAM if you want to. This is a secondary slot. It says SSD number 2. Uh, you can actually install a, a separate M.2 as a secondary data drive if you want to do that. Alright, so this is pretty much it. Uh, this is for the MSI. Hopefully, uh, I explained something that uh, is in this video here to help you with the repair. Uh, but if you have any question, just comment below. I'd like to... Uh, you know hear from you and see uh, what sort of repair that you did for yourself all right so um, until next time please take care and good luck with the repair bye now